Alright, so this video we're going to look at WX Maxima and how to evaluate functions. So uh, if you want to take a minute and write these down, uh, these, are, this is, these are the problems we're going to work. We're going to evaluate these two functions. We're going to evaluate f of x at f of negative 3 and g of x here at g of 23 and this f of x at this f of this f of x equals 5x minus 3 at f of 7 and then g of x we're going to evaluate at g of 9 and g of 3 and we're going to do it two different ways uh, there's there's two methods you can use uh, we'll do one method on these two and then we'll do a different method on these two and either one works okay all right, so let's go over here to WX Maxima. So the first thing we want to do is we want to define the function. So let's just take the first function, f of x equals 2x minus 1. So we can define f as 2. Now the 2x, you cannot type in 2x. You have to type in 2 times x minus 1. And <clears throat> now let me show you this. We can hit enter and it defines the function. And notice it puts the function here also. Okay. Uh, something else we can do, it automatically puts the semicolon at the at the end. We can actually put a dollar sign and hit enter and it doesn't show the function back okay it will it doesn't show you the function and then we can define the next one g colon and then we have the x squared plus x minus 2 and we'll do the dollar sign and it won't it won't repeat the function and you know, like I said, you can you can do it either way. Uh, you can have it show the function or not. It doesn't matter. And and another thing we can do like this, if we delete that, we can come here and instead of hitting enter, we can hold shift enter and define g as x squared plus x minus two. Uh, dollar sign and hit enter and all that does is it just keeps it together instead of separating them like it did in the other one and you know like I said not a big deal either way is fine all right so to evaluate these the first method is we can use this uh, substitute command s u b s t and what we want to do now we are going to evaluate, we want to evaluate f at negative 3. Okay, so we want to substitute negative 3, comma, okay, the negative 3, that's the number we're substituting in for what? x. So we're substituting it in for x, and where are we going to substitute it? In the function f that we defined up here. And then we hit enter, and there it gives us our answer, negative 7. Okay, uh, let's do the next one. We'll, we want to substitute 23. We want to find g of 23. So we want to substitute 23 in for x into the function g. Okay, that's the number you want to substitute in. That's the variable you're substituting it in for, and that's the function you're going to substitute it in. Okay, and we hit enter, and that gives us the 550. Okay, so now let me show you the other way to do it. Uh, our other two functions, the first one was f of x equals 5x minus 3. So let's define that. So we have f of x, okay, and colon equals, and 5x minus 3. So 5 times x minus 3. And, you know, we can do the dollar sign and hold shift enter. 
Okay, that'll keep it that'll keep it in this one little cell instead of making another one. But like I said, it's not a big deal. And then we have g of x. We want to define that. Remember the function from the problem we're going to work. And we're going to have to put the numerator and denominator in parentheses. So we've got 3 times x squared. Just remember, you have to put this multiplication. You can't just put 3x squared. Okay. Then we have plus 7 times x minus 2 and then get out of the parentheses divided by and then in parentheses x squared minus 9 come outside the parentheses we can put the dollar sign and we hit enter Oop. Well, let's see what did I do Hang on a second. Okay, I see. I need an equal sign there. And then we hit enter, and there's our function. Okay. So if you if you have the g of x, you gotta you have to put the colon equals. Okay. Alright, so now we want to find f of seven. Well, that's easy. We type f and in parentheses seven. We're evaluating f of seven. And, and this is actually the method I prefer. I prefer just to do it like this instead of this up here. But like I said, either one works. Okay. And then we want to find g of 9. And that gives us our answer of 38 over 9. And then, let's see. We want to do g of, and then we'll do g of 3. So let's hit enter. And it gives us an error message. And why does it give us an error message? Well, that's because this x squared minus 9. You see that? That gives us a 0 in the denominator. Okay. So I hope this helped. Uh, that's evaluating functions. Uh, check out my other videos, and I hope they help. And don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, thanks.